I've been using AliExpress for several years now, and on the whole, apart from one exception, and I'll talk about that in a future video, my experience has been pretty good. Over those years, I've ordered probably 50 or so different items, not only cycling items, but also items for the house. However, in this video, I'm not going to talk about that. What I'm going to do is look at some of the more weird and wonderful cycling items that you can get on AliExpress. I'll let you decide whether they're weird or wonderful. Here's a frame. It's actually made of bamboo. If you want something a bit more traditional, you can get a frame for 20 inch bicycle wheels. This is quite interesting to me because a few years ago I actually built myself a 20 inch bicycle frame and rode it for a couple of years. Well, you might want to put things on that bicycle. And of course, you can get some very strange looking saddles. Here's one, for instance, for those with, let's say, wider hips. Here's another one for people that want to spread the load a bit. Need a bit more support? And if that's not comfortable enough for you, you can get an inflatable saddle. Now you're sitting comfortably, you'll want some handlebars, and there are plenty available. However, for some sellers, it's obvious that their product knowledge is not the best. Sue, this one's for you. While you're riding your bike, you might want to take your dog with you too. And there are plenty of little doggy or cat baskets available. If you don't want it in a basket, well, why not carry it on your body? And I have seen such a thing myself. And here's a picture of one. Who would want to cycle anywhere without their dog? While you're sitting on your comfortable saddle with your dog in your basket, you might want to listen to the radio. And you can connect this Bluetooth speaker to your phone and listen to some ditty tunes as you ride along. Could get, well, some of these. I'm not really sure what they are, but I'll leave that up to your imagination. And of course, you can also get brake lights. Here's a little one that fits on your disc brake and tells people when you're going to be stopping. If showing people where you're going is your thing, of course you can get indicators. Personally, I just stick my hand out. Get some LED lights to fit in your wheels. These aren't any LED lights. They actually produce nice little patterns as you're riding along. While we're talking about lights, why not wear your lights on your hands? Get yourself a set of track mitts with little LED lights in them. Of course, if those conventional gloves are too warm, you can always get some fishnet cycling gloves. While we're talking about clothing, well, I've always wanted a ripped body. Now I can get that ripped look just by wearing a skin suit. If that skin suit makes you look too fat, why not go for the full skeletal look? Okay, I'm only ribbing you. If you want a more conventional look, you can go tartan. Here in the UK, it's been quite cold recently, so getting a full face mask with visor might be advisable. You may want to know how fast you're going. And yes, you can still get mechanically driven speedometers. It's interesting to see that such things are still available. You may, of course, want to maintain your bicycle. And what better way to do it than have a bicycle shaped spanner? The good news is it's got a bottle opener on it. And for those of you that can't live without a protractor out on your ride, it's got one of those too. Conventional truing stand, a bit too big and bulky. Well, you can get one of these that you can carry on your bike and you can true your wheels at the coffee shop. Of course, you might be truing flat spoked wheels, in which case you have this essential piece of equipment, a special spanner constraining the flat spokes while you're turning the nipple. Those are just a few of the less conventional items you can get for your bike on AliExpress. Oh look, kitten mittens. And a space helmet. Anyway, if you're bored, you can waste many hours looking at this stuff on AliExpress. Or maybe that's just internet shopping. From me, for now, I hope to see you in 2023. And it's goodbye from 2022.